What is the surprise? You ready for this? Sure. I just got our new true up bill. Awesome. You know what it is? Hey everybody, it is Billy at BTOF. Today we are gonna be doing something that I hope uh, helps people out. Uh, I have a surprise for Nicole, she doesn't know about it yet, and that is that we just got our annual true up bill um, from the electric company. And it's, uh, I think, higher than it's ever been. I think it's like $3,700. Boom, she's gonna be stoked. But we have to fix it. And so we are going to do that. I'm gonna show you the next step that we're gonna do to try to get that lower. But first, I wanna go in there and she doesn't know it's here yet, but I'm gonna tell her about the true up bill. Let's go tell her, she's gonna be excited about it. Hey, I got you on camera, so you gotta be decent here. I got a surprise for you. What is the surprise? You ready for this? Sure. I just got her new true up bill. Awesome. You know what it is? Uh, 3750. Awesome. 37, yeah, awesome. 3750. You got 3750 laying in bank account, I hope you do. So, <laughs> dude, I know this is like a thing. So we are going to, I have another surprise for you and that we are going, I told you that our AC was down, right? You can see we have our fans here and then I told you we were gonna get it fixed, but I have made a call to uh, my, body, my buddy Roger Holder over at Holder's uh, Heating and Air and we are gonna put a new uh, AC unit in because we've done it all, right? Yeah. We have put LED lights in, we put new appliances in, we've went to a, uh, we a, a three-tier yeah. pool pump. We've literally, we put LEDs on our fish tanks even. So uh, we've done it all. But the last thing is this AC unit. And I think that that is what's bogging this thing down. But we're gonna know more about it. Roger's on his way over. Awesome. And hopefully that's gonna be something that will save us a little bit money and no more true up surprises, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, so fingers there's your, crossed. There's your bad well, news, good news. It's gotta be better than our 1996 AC unit. Well, hopefully he's got something. We'll ask him about it. Hopefully, I mean, maybe not. I don't know what they have now, but we're gonna find out. All right. Awesome. Hi guys. Hello. Come on in. Billy, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, it's going great now. Now that you guys are here. Yeah. Well, we gotta get something done. It's it, cool. Now. It's it's it's, uh, it's a little warm in here. Yeah. So. Yeah, it is a little warm. Yeah. 87 to be exact, huh? I feel we're lucky though with this weather, so I can't complain. <laughs> you definitely lucked out, yeah. for sure. You know why you're here. Uh, we had uh, some true up issues and we're over it and I handed it to Nicole, gave her this nice surprise, but I did tell her that we are gonna do some, uh, we're gonna try to fix that, right? With our AC unit. And uh, I think you're the guy to do it. You're our last hope here to try to save this thing. <laughs> Well, we can help you guys out. Yeah, so we're gonna go around. I think what I want to do though to start this thing is uh, show you what we have. Okay. And uh, I don't assume that you're gonna look at it and say this is good and savable, but maybe who knows? I'll have you look at it and you, get, you can just tell me what we think. And yeah, no uh, I'm kind of embarrassed actually. To yeah. I feel like I'm a little embarrassed to show it to you, but I mean I would say that this probably happens more. You, you've seen it all, right? If there's anything you haven't seen, right? You know, we'll just, we'll, we'll make it better. Whatever you gotta have, we'll make it better. Okay, let's go take a look. Well, I didn't think that they had this, this old of condensers laying around and I'm not sure how you even got any cooling with this. Is that, would you consider, that's closed off, right? Yeah, that's closed off. Yeah, there's no air going through that whatsoever. Would you consider this poor maintenance? I'd I mean, say you have very poor maintenance. Well, you probably should hire Holder's air conditioning yeah. for a two time a year service to make sure this doesn't happen. Right. You know, combs that you can comb these to straighten them out a little bit. Yeah. Our dog, what happens is we have a dog and she goes swimming, and then the best place to cool off, right, is to come over here and uh, get, get up on that. So that's it right there. I thought it needed a recharge, and he says, There's no saving it. He says at this point, <laughs> it's how old is it? In 1996, right? So yeah. probably time. It's definitely time. I mean, you guys, with your true up, the air conditioning being, you know, your biggest energy consumer, it's you know you you're gonna pay for more than half of your bill, you know, yeah. or the, what it's gonna cost you on your true up, you know. So hopefully we can get you a good system in here to where you don't have to pay as much at the end of the year, and you know, yeah. and be a lot more comfortable within the house. Right. Do you think this is causing us a lot of our true up though? I mean, just out of your yeah. 100% like Almost. just well, just by looking at it you can tell that it's like it's working its butt off to try to cool your house yeah because it can't it can't dissipate no heat 
We have this system here that's set up on a three and a half ton, right? AC unit that we have out there and was probably a trap house, right? Yep. When this thing was put together. Yep. And there is some issues because you're saying that that unit, because it's a little bigger that we have, right? The Bosch four ton mm -hmm. may require a little bit bigger tube, right? right? Definitely, because, yeah. because you're pushing more air. Right, you're moving so, more air. So you're gonna have to test it, right? So Better, yeah, we, when we do, you know, obviously we know what sizes go with what size units. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll put it in there, but on our startup checklist, the technicians will actually do a test on it to make sure that the static pressure is correct for your system right. before you know we're ever leave the job. Right. Um, but yeah, so when the house was built originally back when it was built, I think 96. 96, 96, there was probably people installing air conditioning that probably shouldn't have been installing air conditioning, you know, and nowadays the codes are a lot more stringent and they just can't get away with putting whatever they want yeah. on the home, so. So it's common though, you see that all the time? All the time, all the time. Yeah. You know, just the way they install stuff, that, you know, back then they did it the cheapest way possible. And obviously the cheapest way ain't always the best way for the homeowner. Like, how does this compare? Like, if we're talking about, okay, well, you've changed your lights, you've changed your pool pump, you change, how does that compare to like what this is gonna do? Well, like I try to tell people is, you know, all your lights, they run off a 15 amp breaker, your, you know, this, that, and the other 15, 20 amp breakers. Well, these things, sometimes they're on a 50 amp breaker. Okay. Well, that means they're pulling the most amps. They pull more than all that stuff added up together. So if you started with your air conditioning, it pulls, you know, and get a, a, a high efficiency unit, you could lower the amp draw and it doesn't have the spikes when they start up. you got the older equipment. It starts up, it goes to 100% and yeah. then spikes your PGD meter and you're charged off the, the peaks, not the valley. So the higher efficiency stuff kind of just idles at a lower rate to keep your house comfortable. So it's, it's a win-win all the way around. Right. So what get remo what's getting removed out of here? Uh, we're going to take get rid of your coil. Okay. Your flue. Yep. We can cap your gas line coming to your FAU now. All right. Because you don't use gas, so you'll save money on your gas. So it's going to be all electric coming yep. in. It's called a heat pump, right? Yep, heat pump. Yep. It's uh, your AC and your heater will be electric. Okay. I don't think you're going to have a heat strip because it doesn't get that cold here in Bakersfield, so. You can put heat trips in them too if you want instant heat because sometimes there's a little delay on the heat pump. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'll, you won't need that here in Bakersfield. You guys are running the new pipes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We flushed the lines, and getting this new pipe ran, and then the purge, and then the solder right now. Go. So you have two lines, right? And the black one is the return, and it's a filter. So filters are going back into the unit, into the compressor. Uh, back into the coil. The coil. I'm sorry. And then, uh, and then this one comes back, right? Yeah. Back into the house. You were actually surprised that this unit had 10 year warranty, right? You were, wow, it really does across all the parts because you, you didn't think it did, but it does. Yeah. Right. And it's probably because like compared to a, a system like what we had before, right? Which is just, a, it's like a toggle switch on off, right? It, and it's moving at a fast, it's either fast or not off, right? Yes. Where this one kind of variable speed. So it's going to have a lot slower moving parts overall. Yeah. Is that the, right? The or? inverter, it will communicate with the indoor blower. They'll ramp up. As your thermostat starts to satisfy, they'll ramp back down and they'll just kind of idle there where the components are moving at a lot slower rate, almost at an idle compared to full throttle to off, full throttle to off. So yeah. longevity for sure. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. You're gonna put Dang, that's a bigger box. Is that just a riser or is that actually going to functionally like be the... Oh, okay. Yep, you're going to cut a hole. Yeah. It's going to go up to there. Okay. And the kind of unit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Does it change the watt? Like if you if you set it at like let's say a three and a half ton to like a four ton to a five ton, does it change the usage like the voltage and stuff? Being an inverter, it might not because it's, it's going to ramp up and down. Yeah. So if it was a five ton, it might ramp up a little bit further. It's yeah. Kind of, it, it's kind of hard to tell with this. this is, 
And a lot of times you don't want to over tonnage, right? Because if you can, right, you want to, you want one that fits your house, not one just, you're not really, you don't want bigger because then you're drawing more that you don't really need, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to get bigger duct work and then you're blowing papers off the tables, you know, it's, <laughs> you, can go, you can go too far for sure. All right, so here is an internal look of the heat pump, right? So how does this work? Because it actually uses the same Freon, right? To heat and cool, is yes. that right? All right, so how does this work? So it just flows through these coils right here. Okay, the, the heat comes in this way? No, 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 just regular air comes in. Regular air comes in? But the Freon flows in through right here. Okay. And the internals of this coil right here will heat up the, the Freon mm -hmm. and it'll push the air through and you can get either hot air or cold air depending on the temperature that you want. Yeah, that's crazy that the same unit heats and cools it. You know? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So and then it runs in the fan, right? You, and this is a lot quieter, right, than a, a typical gas yeah, furnace. It's a lot quieter. Uh, and also, like, you won't obviously be using gas, so your gas bill won't be going up as you're running this, just your electricity bill. So if you have solar power, then that'd definitely be a lot better than, you know, being able to run this. So you really wouldn't be feeling that on your, on your monthly bills every now and then, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so if someone wants to do this this field what do you got to do to get involved did you go to school for this yeah i did i went to ui college for about nine months nine months uh sjvc they also have an hvac program too so definitely like reach out to your local uh trade schools see what they got and if they have hvac then yeah definitely sign up i think i think roger said that he was starting up a school of his own, right? Or education program? Yeah, he wants to start his own little training program so that way people can get actually trained on something before they go out in the field and try working on it instead of just jumping in, not knowing what to do. When you when you come out of that school, can you pretty much do it all at that point or do you have are you still learning? No, I mean they show you they tell you pretty much the lingo, you know, like what tools do what, what does what, but as far as experience goes, like on how to actually do something, it's more of just being on the job instead of going to school, you know? Like personal experience from working on the job far out matches any type of school program, you know, it's just. All right, Billy, we just wrapped up your system. I think you're gonna be really excited about it. We've got your Bosch thermostat installed right here. It was at 87, just about 30 minutes ago. We're down to 84 now. You know what, it doesn't feel like 84. Like it, it feels, like I was just thinking like, I don't know how much cooler I need it. Maybe it's because we've had the heat on a little bit, but. I'm thinking like, whoa, this feels like really, I don't know if I'll go back down to like 76 or where we used to keep it. Cause I'm like, how much cooler do I need it? Yeah, with this Bosch inverter system, you might not have to get it down that low to get your comfort level. Um, right now it's pulling all the heat out of the vaulted ceilings, out of the walls, out of the couches, the floor. Yeah. And it looks like it's working very good for the amount of time that it's been on right now. I think you're gonna be really excited. Does it, is it because like, so for example, we always used to have a problem where our bedroom would feel cold, ice cold. It'd be cool in here. And then as you make your way that way, it starts warming up. And then the kids room by the, on the other side, it'd be like, man, it's hot over here. Is it possible that like, it's just like more efficient? So like, cause I just walked over there. I'm like, dude, it feels good over here. Like, right. So is it more, is that true or not? Am I imagining the things? Inverter system, yeah, it'll kind of bounce off your static pressure a little bit more, a little bit better, a little bit more even. So you kind of won't feel the hot and cold spots that you might've felt before. It'll, it'll, it's really going to try to keep up with everything. Yeah. And with this system right here, I hope, will I be able to like communicate with it? Like if I'm somewhere, can I adjust the temperature or keep monitor it to make sure? Yeah. Cause we have some stuff in here, like we got reef tanks and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that we can monitor everything. Yeah, Is we that... haven't got to that part yet, but yeah, that's the Wi-Fi setting up here in the, in the upper corner. Okay, good. We can good, enable good. that. It'll give you a code, hook it right up to your phone. It'll tell you everything from humidity control to everything that you have on your system settings, your schedule. Yeah. As cool as this thermostat is and all those features, I think you're going to be really happy when we go outside and I show you the numbers that the outdoor condenser and the air handler is putting on. This is the air handler, the Bosch 4 to 5 times 20 sear, inverter series. You can kind of hear it. It's really quiet right now, Billy. This is what it's going to sound like wintertime, summertime. You're not going to have to worry about all that gas pressures and all the... That's a lot quieter. So it'll be like this in the wintertime when it's heating too? It'll like, sound just like it this. It will. Place. 
It's gonna be a little quiet once it ramps down. It's ramped up right now. It's really trying to get that thermostat satisfied. So we will get a lot quieter and we almost have to touch it to tell if it's on. Wow, that's amazing how quiet that is. Like I would never thought that, that, yeah. that it would be like that. So down here we have some, some stuff going on. What do we got here? So this is like some drain pipes? Yeah, your coil is in here, big A coil. Mm -hmm. These are the drains for the drain pans. So okay. the, your other conventional unit with all the gas pressure. But drain, we're up top, this is down low. It's gonna go into the condensate pump, pump this pump right back inside of your existing drain. Okay. We did have to put a pump on it. It's gotta go up about 20 inches. Yeah. Oh, great. All right, they'll be seeing the, out, the indoor unit. This is the air handler. Let's go outside, check with the condenser and check those amp draws on that compressor. And let's see, uh, let's see where we're at. I think you're gonna be happy. All right, so I can tell you right now, right off the bat, uh, definitely quieter, right? Because we can actually have a conversation here, which is probably hard to do before because it was so loud. Yes, you can. This is really quiet. The neighbors are going to be really happy. This, you can't hear that it's on. It's, and it's full ramped up right now, too. So yeah. What you're hearing now is only going to get better. Wow. That's crazy. So how many, what's it drawing right now? When we checked it, it was around 14.4 amps. That's okay. after the, the spike when it comes on. So it's down around 14 and it probably drops around to 10. Wow. In the idle mode, once the third attack gets closer to Satisfying. Where were we drawn before? Do you have any idea? I'm gonna guess somewhere around 28 to 30. Oh, whoa, that much? 25 on the spike. So. Wow, so you're talking about like almost working at a third of what it was before. Half your energy consumption for sure, just by upgrading Right. Now, I know that you guys added some stuff here. What are we doing here? Yeah, this is the disconnect here. We had our the thermostat wire, we had it upsized to an eight wire. And then okay. we had the new disconnect with fuses. Yeah all the goodies so if i want to disconnect so if i have to turn this off for whatever reason i just pull this out yeah so that yeah. works say if you can't get into the panel it's got a lock on it yeah. you really need to get this off to service it just pull on this right here it'll come off yeah. you can turn it back around once the off is red you know it's off or you just leave it out is this is this actually a fuse itself too yes it is so it is so a little it's a lot safer than what before right yeah, yeah, and, for sure. They and there's also have a fuse on it. And there's also one on the heat pump side too, right? On the, I mean, on the inside too. There's there one is, on the unit. There is. We got 15 amps fuses in those also. Service disconnect also. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what. This is like a night and day, dude. What we had before. What's going on down here? Uh, it's just some up to code stuff here. This is UV cover that just came out. This is new code from California. They're making us put this serviceable instant tube on there. Okay. So we got it all up to code for you. Yeah. How often, I know you guys have a program, like how often would you say that you should have these serviced? New unit for temperamental, I'd probably at least get them serviced at the end of every summer for the beginning. Okay, just to make sure everything's working right? Yeah. And you're saying like, so before I was always having to recharge the system, you're saying you don't have to do that, right? If it's a, if it's all working correctly, you shouldn't have to recharge anything? Never should have to recharge the system. Really? really? So if, you, if you're recharged, if you're running out, there's something wrong. Yeah, if a service tech comes, say, for the next 15 years and puts his gauges on it, every time he removes the gauges, it's going to spurt off just a little bit of Freon as he removes them. Maybe after 10 or 15 services, that might add up to a little bit. We'll have to weigh some in in about 10 years from now. Well, Billy, I uh, came over and checked everything out. You guys did a really good job on your install. I hope you're happy with it. Um, they did a really good job you know, filming and doing everything that they had to do. The system is working. Phenomenal. I think you know you've, you've noticed a great deal in, uh, in your you know quality of coolness or whatever. So I'm happy with that. And uh, but truthfully, I think what we need to do is I spent some time and looked at your PG bill from before and now. And I think you're going to be really, really amazed on the savings that you're going to have that'll pay for this unit very, very quickly. So if you don't mind, we go in there and check that out. Let's check it out. Uh, before we get into the pg &E stuff, I just want to give you your packet. You know, this is all your information of, you know, your AHRI numbers, your invoicing, uh, your warranty information, anything that you need to know about your unit, what we offer, what we give you. It's just a packet you can file it away. You know, you got a card in here, and uh, if you have any questions or problems with it, just let us know. But all your information about everything is in your packet here. Yeah, very cool. We went to uh, pg &E here on the website. They, they have really good, really good information. Uh, to see what your usage is, you know, if you have solar or if you don't have solar, you can kind of see uh, what type, what's going on. Make sure everything's working right. See how much consumption you're using. And this is a really, really, really good data here from your unit. And uh, let's uh, look at it and see here. <clears throat> so this is, you know, the few days before your unit finally took a, you know, finally took its last breath. These three days here, see how it's. I think it's up to around forty-seven point seven kilowatts per hour. Yeah. 
your unit breaks, then we come down here and we have, you know, you're not using any, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're producing energy because your unit, and this is the hottest, you know, I think this was what, in July or something. Yeah, just starting to heat up. Yep, getting hot. So this is just kind of showing you how much your air conditioner actually uses. You know, we're at 44, now you're at negative with your AC off, which yeah, obviously- That's a ton, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a huge, huge, huge difference. So we finally get your unit up and running over here. Move this thing out of the way so we can kind of see what's going on here. But anyways, uh, you know, the unit comes on, obviously it's working really hard because the house is 90 degrees. But yeah. even at the worst case scenario, you're at almost half of your kilowatt usage. Yeah. You know, your your house is 90 degrees, everything's hot in there. Yeah. You know, so it's it works, it gets a few days, but and it, gradually as things cool down, it just keeps going down and down and down. And then we get out here and you're at, let's, I mean, you're at 3.6. You're 40 watt kilowatts less an hour. Is that crazy, though? It's, it, well, I mean, it's still warm outside, too, right? I mean, right, it's not it's like... It's been 100 it's degrees every day, yeah, at least. Yeah, so it's like, that is insane. Yeah, well... From, from 40, what is that, Tanya? 40? Yeah, 44, 40, 47, 47. to the end of the month, and you're clicking off 2.2. 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's well... Insane, right? it's, it mean, shows you how quick and... Uh, easy it will be to be able to pay yourself back for a unit that's going to keep you more comfortable yeah less less problems uh and obviously you've been having it for yeah you know and it works great right i mean do you have any issues no and the temperature is better yeah and you're using way less energy i'm gonna i'm energy. gonna assume that we're not gonna really have too much true up at all i mean right now i think we're even we don't have a true up right now i think we're like under right now like you know i mean we actually have more energy produced right now right. so I think by the time the end of this year, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but it ain't going to be $4,000. No, nope. I mean, I, you could very easily get that down to almost nothing. Wow. You know, so between your service bills that you may have had with the old yeah. unit breaking down, plus what you're saving with the new equipment, yeah. it more than pays for itself in a couple of years easy. Yeah. You know? you know, and especially, even especially this is important for people that don't have solar, mm -hmm. right? Because... Like that's a huge saving. If I was just paying PG&E straight up, right? That's a ton. To do this, you're talking about not only that, but getting out of the top tier rate, right? Yeah. Like, cause you can get, cause I think I was last year, I was in the top tier rate, like because the AC units just using so much. Yeah, yep. right? that's exactly right. And that's why it is beneficial to go with the higher sear, the better equipment that allows you to just idle and use way less energy. You're more comfortable. And in the, at the end of the day, you don't have to pay either true ups or your PG&E, you yeah. know? I never would have thought that they would make that huge of a difference, like cutting it down to that much at the end of the day, you know I mean? That is incredible. Yeah, well, I, I think, uh, you know, you picked a great system. I think you're gonna be extremely happy with the changes of how well it's gonna make you comfortable and the money that it saves. I mean, that's really where it ends is, uh, you know, how much money you can actually put back in your pocket over time, you know, once it's paid for, then it's just money in your pocket. From yeah, out, I mean, this thing know? pays for itself in two and a half years. Easy, right? Easy, yep. yeah. Roger, I know that people are gonna come on here and they're gonna say, well, I can't afford that. I can't afford a high-end efficiency system, right? But you say that well, mo most people can't afford, like don't have that kind of money just laying around. So, and they don't, and you actually get them in for a really reasonable Yeah, price. and I mean, obviously, you know, these systems could range from 15 to $20,000, you know? And they're obviously expensive and you know most people don't have that kind of money laying around but we offer great financing and the money that you save you know in your instance yeah. looking at this paper you're gonna Crazy. you're gonna be saving about five hundred dollars a month in yeah. the summertime you know if your payment's a couple hundred bucks you're netting three hundred dollars a month you know for you know to help pay for that system and your payments being paid yeah you know so it's definitely affordable you just got to do it the right way and because and you said it, that you guys actually do some you have the financing there right yeah so we like have you, financing and you, you, yeah. you tell me a number like you can get someone into a high-end system for like how much a month usually yeah they're between two and 250 bucks it's a no-brainer right side, in my opinion it's a no-brainer yes there's you know, and you you were reluctant at the beginning, right? Yeah, because I was thinking, like, dude, oh. I, I told you, I, was like, I ain't got that kind of money, dude. Like, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna mess I'm, around with that. Yeah, but know? then you said, but then we figured it out, and it's like, yeah, you could totally pull this off, and it's kind of like it's almost like the solar deal, where you you know, because it's cheaper to get it even right off the bat. Yep, yep, yeah. The money that you save, the payment that you pay for your equipment, more is going to be saving from your what you're saving it from PG&E. Yeah, you know, I think it's it's really a no brainer, and it's. It's hard to get people to understand that, but you're living proof of oh, it. Now you see it, so it's it's, it's 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 way more than I thought it'd be. To be honest with you, I, I knew it'd come down, but I didn't know it'd be like 
like massively yeah, coming well, down. Well, you had an old system. Yeah. You know, we had some problems with the condensers, and, and obviously it was it was had some high usage. But there's a lot of people out there that just don't realize how much money they can actually save yeah. going. And the they system. don't, you know, that PG&E thing is such a good data thing that yep. people need to go in there and really see like what's going on with yep. their system yeah exactly yeah. And, it, and it'll show you it'll you know the acs are what uses all your energy if yep. you have one of those high you can save money and do upgrades your house in other places yep. thanks for coming out dude I, I love it man and i like i said we're we're totally stoked we're comfortable and we're saving a lot of money doing it with holders you do but i appreciate you thank you all right buddy